Hi everybody, so if you're just in the beginning of your journey to become an ethical hacker, or maybe you already know a thing or two about cybersecurity and ethical hacking, but not quite sure how to utilize that knowledge and make money with hacking without working a regular 9-to-5 job in a cybersecurity field, this video is for you. So how can you make money with hacking? A great way to do that is through something called bug bounty programs. So in today's video, we are going to answer these questions. What is a bug bounty program? How much money do bug bounty programs pay? Where and how to find bug bounty programs? What are you allowed to hack? What to expect when it comes to making money through bug bounty programs? And how can bug bounty programs benefit you besides the monetary rewards? And we're going to take a very quick look at just a few bug bounty programs offered by very well-known companies that I'm pretty sure you are familiar with and see how much money they are willing to pay you depending on the severity of the bug or vulnerability that you find. So let's begin with the first question. What is a bug bounty program? Well, bug bounty programs are offered by organizations, websites and other institutions for the simple reason of making their services and products more secure before bad people with malicious intentions try to exploit the vulnerabilities and bugs in those products and services. And those vulnerabilities and bugs are not only limited to some kind of software, like a web app for example, but can also include firmware and hardware. And this is where you, as an ethical hacker, come in and save the day and get paid for that. Which leads me to the next question. How much money do bug bounty programs pay? There are bugs uh, or vulnerabilities that pay just a few dollars, others hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars, even millions. So it depends on how critical the bugs or vulnerabilities you find are, how often you're able to find them, and of course if you're able to report them before anyone else does before you. So you can make everything from a few dollars to hundreds of dollars to thousands of dollars to hundreds of thousands of dollars, and yes, even millions. And if you want some um, motivation or inspiration, I'll link a few articles about the first seven ethical hackers to become millionaires on HackerOne, which is one of the biggest bug bounty platforms out there, which leads me to the next question. Where and how to find bug bounty programs? Well, some companies, for example, offer these uh, bug bounty programs on their own website or platform, while other companies choose to partner with or utilize bug bounty platforms, where ethical hackers can report the bugs and vulnerabilities uh, of that particular company. Now, if you wonder what the names of some of these bug bounty platforms are, just to name a few, we have HackerOne, which I uh, just mentioned and even talked about in my video called YouTube channels every aspiring ethical hacker must subscribe to, which you can check out if you haven't watched it yet. Uh, I'll leave a link to uh, link to the video in the description of this video. Uh, so yeah, so HackerOne is considered to be one of the best or biggest bug bounty platforms out there that is utilized by companies like Twitter, Adobe, Yahoo, PayPal, GitHub and more. We have Buckcrowd, uh, utilized by companies like Netflix, Tesla, OpenAI, Linktree, Dropbox and more. We have Integrity, where you can, for example, find Intel's bug bounty program, uh, DataCamp, Visma, etc. We have bug bounty platforms like, for example, uh, Synac, uh, Yes We Hack, Open Bug Bounty, and more. And as I mentioned earlier, some companies choose to offer their bug bounty programs directly through their own website or platform. For example, Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, and many more. Now, if there's a company that you would like to see if they have a bug bounty program, you can just search through the bug bounty platforms that I uh, mentioned, uh, or other bug bounty platforms that you know of, or through the company's website, or just simply use Google. Just type something like bug bounty program and the company name, and you can quickly find out if that particular company has a bug bounty program, and where that bug bounty program is to be found. You know, either on their own website or platform, or a third party platform for bug bounties, like for example one of the bug bounty platforms uh, that I just mentioned. Now let's move on to the next question, which is what are you allowed to hack? Now, when it comes to hacking these companies, you can't just try to hack whatever you want. Uh, you know, there are certain rules and guidelines that you have to follow that you can find in the company's bug bounty program. So let's say you want to see if you can find some bugs or vulnerabilities on Reddit. You can first uh, search their bug bounty program on HackerOne and read through the policy and scope tab, where you can find everything you need to know from what to do, 
and what not to do, how much money you can make, depending on, of course, on how critical the bug or vulnerability is, and more. So it's very important that you get familiar with all of the information provided in the company's bug bounty program so that you don't get in trouble. Now, let's move on to the next question that I think is quite important to answer before you jump into bug bounty hunting, and that is, what to expect when it comes to making money through bug bounty programs. When you hear how much these companies are willing to pay you for finding bugs and vulnerabilities, which as we can see can be quite a lot, you can easily fall into the trap of thinking that this is easy or this is some kind of, uh, you know, uh, a get-rich-quick scheme, which it isn't. You have to put a lot of work in and on top of that, you have a lot of competition out there searching for the exact same bugs and vulnerabilities as you. And even though you might find a very critical bug or vulnerability, ability that might reward you with a lot of money, there is a chance that somebody might have already reported uh, that exact same bug or uh, vulnerability before you, which leaves you empty-handed. So please don't get the impression that this is some kind of uh, get-rich-quick scheme, because it's not. So please don't quit your day job just yet, okay? And this leads me to my next question. How can bug bounty programs benefit you besides the monetary rewards? Well, you can earn recognition in the community. And something that I think is quite important is getting real life experience in the field, specifically for those wanting to get a job in a cybersecurity field but lack the experience. Bug bounty hunting is a great way to gain uh, real life experience, which you can showcase to potential employers. You'll probably even hear stories about people getting jobs in the companies that they've hacked through these bug bounty programs. Now, let's take a quick look at some uh, bug bounty programs offered by some very well known companies. If we take a look at Twitter's bug bounty program, which you can find on HackerOne, we can see that you can make between $100 and $15,000. If we take a look at the Netflix bug bounty program, which you can find uh, on uh, Bug Crowd, we can see that you can make between $200 and $20,000. If we take a look at Intel's bug bounty program, which you can find on Integrity, we can see that you can make between $500 and $100,000 thousand dollars. If we let's say look at Apple's bug bounty program, which you can find on their own platform or website, uh, you can get rewarded uh, everything from five hundred dollars to hundred thousand dollars for finding vulnerabilities in their services and between five thousand dollars to two million dollars for vulnerabilities in their products. So, you can make money with your hacking skills through bug bounty programs. And yes, you can make a lot of money, even become a millionaire. But again, please, don't look at bug bounty hunting as a get-rich-quick scheme. So this is it for today, guys. If you found the video helpful, found some valuable information, I would really appreciate it if you give the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you would like to mention some more bug bounty platforms that you think that people should check out, leave them in the comment section. And if you have already have, you know, used some of these uh, bug bounty platforms that I mentioned in the video, how was your experience? What platform do you prefer? And also, if there are some tips you can give to beginner uh, ethical hackers that want to get into bug bounty hunting, leave them in the comment section. And of course, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos on cybersecurity and ethical hacking. Thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you next time.